Hello everyone, Windows 11 has been out for a couple of years now, and a couple of years ago I made my Windows 11 tutorial on how to use this version of software. Well now I want to make an updated tutorial, and this is just a new rerun of how to use Windows 11. There's a couple of things that have changed for the most part. I think when I made my first version, I don't even know if it had Copilot in it, it probably came out like a year or two ago, but this particular Windows 11 is so much better now less bugs, and I'll tell you, it's a pretty basic version of software to understand. Now this is your desktop. So it's broken down in a few different ways. We have our desktop here, we have our folders, this is our home screen, and then we have our taskbar at the bottom. So that is the structure. If you have a new window open, it'll show your window here, but your taskbar is always going to be here. Now on your front home screen, you'll have your wallpaper, you'll have folders and icons. So if you ever download an application or you wanna make a folder, you can make your folder right into here and you can just set it up like this. Now, if you right click on your home screen, you will get into this other panel that basically comes up like this. So a really cool thing is right clicking on information. So if you right click somewhere, you'll be able to get into this window. If you right click on the Steam one, you'll get into more information. So right clicking just gives you a little bit more information on what type of, you know, whatever file you have. Now, if I right click on the home screen, you'll see I have view, sort by, refresh. If I right click on my Steam one, it'll give me some other options. So just kind of get, just kind of understand that if you right click on certain things, it just gives you a little bit less, you know, gives you more information, less information. If you ever delete an application or delete a folder, that will basically come into our recycle bin. Our recycle bin is basically our deleted information before it's fully deleted. So it's a cool place to just kind of go and see what files you've deleted. And if you want to fully delete them, you can delete them from there. Now on the status bar itself, you have a couple of things. In the bottom left corner right here, you have this icon. And this is basically just a, I don't even know what this icon is. I've never even seen it before. You have your Windows icon right here, which is your start menu. So this is your start menu. When you click on it, so apparently this is your widgets panel, so you can go through and you know have different widgets here, which is really cool. This little panel right here is your start menu icon. So what this does is it allows you to go ahead and kind of get a humongous breakdown on essentially a lot of stuff that's within your Windows operating system. So you can see right here, I have the ability of searching. So if I ever wanna search for an application, or if I wanna search for a certain setting or search for a document, that information will come up right here. So if I wanted to search for, let's say, settings, I can just start typing in settings, right? And it will show me the settings application. It'll show me some other settings here. And if I want to, I can specify it whether I want my apps, documents, web, whatever the case is. So it's really cool. This is something you're probably going to use a lot. So I would recommend every once in a while, if you ever need to, if you ever want to search for anything specifically for on your computer, you can come into your start menu here and click on search or you can just click on search down here and it will essentially kind of bring you into the same type of panel. So that is another cool thing. On top of the start menu, you'll also get into your you know, pinned applications if you ever have any, some recommended options here. And then if you ever want to change a user, if you wanna go into guest mode, or if you wanna change into a different user, you can click right into user right here and you can change your user this way. On the bottom right of your start menu, you also have a power button. So if you want to quickly lock your computer, sleep your computer, shut down or restart your computer, you'll see those options right there, which is genuinely very cool. Now on top of that, if you hop out of here, these applications down here are your pinned apps. So if you ever frequently use an application, let's say you want to use Google Chrome or you want to use Microsoft Word or whatever, you'll basically be able to see those applications if they're open right here. But if they're not open, you can also pin them here if you use them frequently. You can also move them around if they're in here too. And if you wanna go ahead and just remove it, you can also just go ahead and just right click on an application. So let's say this one, Microsoft Teams, I wanna remove it. Once again, I can right click on this and I can unpin from my taskbar. So that is a convenient thing that you have. The Microsoft Copilot is a pretty popular, you know, popular option now. It's like their AI assistant. So that is something you can kind of open up and kind of modify here and there and use. So that is something cool. And you also have your Microsoft Store. So the Microsoft Store is an application that allows you to go ahead and basically download new things on your computer. So this is something that's actually really cool. If you're new to Windows, you can go and start downloading some really cool applications this way as well. Now, when you have a window open, what you can always do is if you want to minimize the application, let's say you wanna go and see some other app, you can click on the minimize button that's right up there. 
So minimizing the application doesn't close it, it just shrinks it down to the taskbar. If you want to open up the application again, you can open it up right here, and it will bring you right into the same spot you were just in. But you see how this window isn't taking up the whole screen? If I wanted to go and have my window take up the whole screen, I can click on this square icon that's right up here. So now, Windows 11 will now make my whole entire window big, so it covers the whole entire display. And if you actually hover over that square icon, you'll start to get into this tiling option right here. So now what it will do, if I go and hover it over to like this particular tile right here, it'll then go ahead and kind of make it so it'll open up my tab so I have one application here and one application there. So that is another really cool convenient thing that I have. And if I want to completely close out of these applications, there's an X button at the very top right here. If I click on there and if I click on here, it'll completely close out all of those applications for me. Now in the bottom right corner, you have a couple of more options. So these are some more little settings, like quick settings that you can kind of modify. So this arrow just shows you a couple of more quick settings that you can quickly toggle on, toggle off, Bluetooth, things like that. You also have cloud options here. This little battery icon is really convenient. If you have a, you know, a, a laptop that takes battery, that's a really convenient thing. If you have a desktop PC, that's not really going to be pertinent to you. But I love having my battery icon there so I can quickly see how much battery life I have. And then you'll have your date and your time at the very bottom right. If you click on it, it'll take you into this panel, which shows you different notifications, your calendar, if you have different reminders and things set up. If you actually tap on the sound icon and all these things here, it'll bring you into your quick toggles. So here you can basically quickly turn off your Wi-Fi connection, your Bluetooth connection, your airplane mode, you can enable that. If you want to enable battery saver mode, you can enable that as well. And you can quickly turn down or up your volume. So if you want it higher or lower, you can turn it down or up here. And your brightness, you can turn it up or down this way as well, which is another really convenient thing. Now, that kind of covers up this window. I do want to show you the settings app. So if we open up our little taskbar here, if we go and scroll either into settings, if you see it here, if not, you can search for settings up here. You want to go and open it up. Now, the settings application has a bunch of information inside of it. So I'd recommend every single person to go through and just get familiar with your settings app. So here you'll have your home option. It'll just tell you a bunch of different things, recommended settings, Bluetooth devices that are connected, different things like that, just to kind of get you more used to your computer. Now, I think a big thing every single person should probably get used to is just understanding your system. So go into system. There's a lot of options here you can kind of modify. So I'm not going to go super into detail, but just know that there's like an infinite amount of settings you can kind of mess around with. So don't like go super crazy. Don't start deleting random stuff. But just kind of understand it like your system is your system bluetooth and devices has all your bluetooth devices connected to it and it'll show up right here network and internet is just network and internet connection personalization allows you to go ahead and change your wallpaper your themes if you want to change how certain things look you can go and change those within your personalization option right here and this is another really cool thing that you can basically do under apps these are just applications that you have permissions you can change um, you know, video playback, default apps, things like that. So if you want to change how an application opens up a certain thing, you'll basically be able to change that here too, which is another really cool thing. Under accounts, if you have any account information set up here, you can modify your account info here. Time and language, gaming, which is something really cool. If you want to turn on game bar, if you want to you know, turn on game mode, you have that option here too. The accessibility options, privacy and security, and a big thing I'd recommend every single Windows user to do is get used to updating your Windows PC. So there's a lot of updates that can happen on your PC. I'd recommend you to update them as soon as you can. So get your Windows laptop or Windows desktop and go ahead and update your Windows PC as soon as you go and buy it. That's a very, very, you know, just smart thing to just get into as soon as you buy your machine. So from there, you pretty much know how to use the majority of Windows. So now you're pretty much good to go. You can jump right in. I would recommend downloading some apps, you know, playing some games, you know, trying to send some emails, see stuff like that, and you'll pretty much get used to your Windows PC as soon as you go ahead and you know watch this video in this full. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.